I cannot begin to express how great our Rockham community is over at World of Rockhounds. When I was reviewing my invoice to see what all was in my package, Dave had gifted me this obsidian cabochon. And it is absolutely stunningly beautiful. If my light was right, you would be able to see all of the rainbows in there. But my light is not right for it. You can see a little bit. The camera just does not do this justice. It is so pretty. And not only did he gift me that, he gifted me several Walker Ranch agates. These are my favorite agates so far. I love the LSA, but Lake Superior agates, but I just don't, I mean, and there are some amazing LSAs out there, but I just don't think they can compare to this Walker Ranch. I mean, look at the beautiful, look at the spray in there. That is just gorgeous. The little eyes in here. Look at that. Look at the eyes. Look at the banding on this. This is just remarkable. And then look at the moss. Here's the moss agate here. Wish it would focus. There we go. Come on, focus. Look at that. How pretty is that? And then this and then uh, not only did Dave gift me that, um, I also got gifts from Chris. And she is just, she is just like one of the sweetest people. One of my favorite things about agates or in rocks in general is I like the Vogue pockets with the botroidals in there. This one doesn't have the uh, crystals in it like some, but it's still just cool the way, I mean, it is amazing to see how all of these rocks, they form and how you can pull rocks out of the same area and they still look so different. I mean, there's some really wonderful bands in there. Let me see if I can get it to where you can see it. Yeah, it kind of gets washed out in the, but this is mossy. Oh my goodness. Wow. Is that, is that my imagination or is that a, a well, it was going to be my imagination. Probably for my thumbprints. Okay. I see. I thought, I thought it had some shielder in there, but it was just the oils for my skin. But look how, look at the depth of that. That is so deep looking. It just like it just goes on forever. I was telling them in chat the other night that these walker agates, a lot of them, when you look at them, they remind me of drone shots. And here's one that's got the crystals in it. And some pretty good banding right there. But look at that. That is so pretty. I do like beautiful things. And rocks is just at the top of the list. Let's see. Here's another one. I like these mossy ones like this. I mean, to me, this looks like somebody took a drone, flew it high up in the air, got over the trees in the water, and just snap pictures. That's what this looks like to me. I think they're so beautiful. He had one the other night on his show that looked like two rivers were coming together in the middle of a fall in a forest of trees. And that was just, it was so pretty. And my camera just doesn't even do this justice. 
Look at the band right there next to my phone. Right in there. Look how pretty that is. I would love to be able to visit some of these places and go out and look myself. And see, here's another one that looks like a kind of an aerial shot, drone shot. Maybe even a satellite shot of some lakes with, you know, beautiful trees around them. But those are just how pretty the colors are. You know, it's not a picture, it's rock. But it is gorgeous. There's a bug with some betrothal in it. Look at the banding around it, though. That is cool. This one's dendritic here. This has dendrites. More bugs. Look at you, too. Nope, that's, uh, that is a little pocket, but it's more banding. Look at that. That looks like a lake. A mossy little lake here that goes out into deep water. That's what that looks like to me. Is that not beautiful? Have we even looked at that end? That's a pretty good size piece right there. And then here's a little one. I love the way all the color plays in together. This is what sold me on this piece right here. I love the end. The end is absolutely beautiful. You can see what I'm talking about there. It looks like a lake surrounded by fall colored trees. How pretty is that? And this come out of Walker Ranch in Texas. And I would love to be able to go out there and find some, but they've closed it down to public digging, so... Won't be doing that. Wouldn't be able anyway, but still. Look at all the moss in this one. This one's a really thin piece. But still, it holds a lot of beauty. I love how it just kind of like sprays out. How it just kind of flows that way. And this is called Walker Ranch Agate. Amazing. And then this is just a little piece that broke off of there in shipping. But, I mean, I don't care if it broke off or not. It's still beautiful. And I may be able to find something I can do with that little piece. Who knows? I may be able to fix it by gluing it back together. Anyway, I do appreciate you watching and listening to me ramble on about how pretty these agates are. And, uh, hope everybody is having a wonderful holiday time. Thank you.